Howdy folks, welcome back to Terry Family Adventures. Today I'm drinking morning grass water from a peak somewhere. And we're gonna show you how to take the front fascia off your Jeep Grand Cherokee. Terry Family Adventures. Folks, this uh, lower fascia here comes uh, right off of here to help improve your approach angle. Um, it's supposed to be toolless, like you don't need anything to take it off of there. But I have this uh, bicycle uh, debeater thing that definitely helps out a lot. I think these are maybe 10 bucks, maybe less. I don't know. I got it from one of my sons because it came in a pack of two and he let me have one of them and so it's made out of plastic I mean you could use a screwdriver but that just seems like it might damage something if you slipped off where this little piece of plastic isn't even going to uh, it's not even going to chip the paint and so but let's get started so if you look up underneath the front here, there's these clips right here. They're a quarter turn. And so you just turn it one quarter turn and then it comes right out. There are three of them across the bottom here. They just come right out. After you take the three out from the front, there's one right here, and it just comes out. And then there's another one way up in here. And it's kind of a pain to get to. You see, it's up in there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. These ones that are way up in there are kind of a pain. Sometimes you have to wiggle the fascia around a little bit. Wiggle them out of there. The bigger your tires are, the more of a pain in the butt it is to get up in there. You can even get in and uh, turn your tires so you can reach up in there a little bit better. But I'm not actually going off-roading today, so this is just for demonstration purposes. So after you have the clips out, you just pull forward until that comes out like that. And you do the same thing on the other side. On 
once we got that out, that's when this tool comes into play because there's all kinds of spots along here. It's off. Now as you can see these things are hooked upwards. Only when you get in there with the tool you reach in there and push down. That's why I like that little bicycle tool is because it has a curve downward already that gets right in there and pushes that little clip down. And now that it's off of there you have a majority of your tire that is just uh, exposed for the rocks so that you're not tearing up that fascia. Um, when you get to here in the middle, you have your uh, condenser and your radiator that are partially exposed, but for the most part, it's down here. So, I mean, your bumper's gonna hit, this is gonna hit sh before that. I don't suggest driving around on the road without that fascia on because rocks and stuff could flip up and get right into there while you're going high speeds on the freeway and then over here on this side you have a couple of tubes here and uh, right behind this cover there's the uh, I'm not going to take it off of there but there that's where the lower part of your windshield washer reservoir is and there are companies out there that actually make an armor plating the bolts on right here to protect that windshield washer cover. And so if you hit something on this side and you immediately start leaking fluid, you don't have to panic right away because it could just be your windshield washer reservoir that you've hit and your vehicle will probably be okay. And now we're done wheeling for the day. Let's put this thing back on there. We're gonna do it all in one take so you can see how fast it goes.
And that, folks, is how easy that front fascia comes off of there and goes back on. Now go down and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.